Hello YouTube, it's 33Guy here and I'm going to be showing you in this video how to use any PC, any PC controller to play any game. Firstly, open up the internet and open up the first link in the description. Yep, just wait the amount of time. Once you've done that, open up the file. It should look like this. Okay, now this. If you're on Windows 7, you need to go to properties and it should look like this normally. Now, when you enter properties, you need to go to compatibility. Click run this program in compatibility mode if you're on Windows 7. Windows XP you should be fine. Windows Vista you should be fine. Click Windows Vista Service Pack 2. Run this as administrator. Apply. Okay. Now, once you've done that, double click it. Click yes. And it should actually come up as this. When it comes up like this, this is how it originally opens up. Go to the second link in the description and choose what your controller looks like. Doesn't really matter, just choose a picture. You click. Mine is an actual official Xbox 360 wired controller. So I open Xbox 360 and it will load. Then you cho I choose this one and mine is black save image as and make sure the image is saved at as a BMP save it to the desktop and it's done close this, it's here now first thing, when your controller is plugged in click open click the picture, open it should look like this. Enable sticks if yours has analog sticks like mine. And then once you've done this, move it there. The picture is only basically for just the visual if you want to look at it. Also, guys, when you download it, it won't have this set. This is just mine set originally. Now with D pad, enable, up, down, left, right. Move it on. You don't have to move it on, but it's just easier. Now, if yours has triggers like mine, click enable, and it'll, and then you click. Just read here. That's basically what you need to do. Trigger left, trigger right, then buttons. When you go to buttons, just click the button and it should add it. You move it on to where it's supposed to be. Yeah, this is this is how you can play it. You can play it with heaps of games. Any game. Combat Arms, Maple Story, RuneScape, if you wanted to. You can use it as a mouse as well. Also, don't forget about these buttons. Then when you move, it's actually clicking the buttons that you move. Yep, now once you've done with that, click the X, it should still be here. Just now to edit, first, click this little screwdriver. No, I'm sorry, it's a wrench. Click mouse settings, and you need to change this to 95, and this is to 65, and then X. If you set it, make sure that your Y value isn't more than your X value or it just doesn't work. Then to change these, click on it, 
and type it in on your keyboard or enter it via clicking. I'm going to enter on my keyboard as backspace, but I need it as escape. If anyone plays combat arms here, you can use this build because this is my combat arms build. It's actually pretty good. Now once you're done with that, just minimize it. Go to your internet. Open the game you want to play. Yeah, I'm just showing you guys with combat arms. Start the game. I always demonstrate with combat arms because it's the easiest. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just a bit laggy. Sorry, guys. Yes, yeah, just because I'm recording and playing, it's going to be very laggy. So, yeah. With this... That's actually how you use it. So yeah. If you want to, you can use it with any game, maybe RuneScape, Maple Story, anything. So yeah. I can show you just say with any of my Steam games now. Yeah, I'll show you with Team Fortress 2. Yeah, for those guys who don't haven't ever played Team Fortress 2, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good game. A lot you guys should play it. It's actually really fun. It's only like ten dollars, so yeah, for those people who are cheap noobs like me, play it. But if you're going to download it, it is a very big file. Going to go to offline practice. Yeah, as you can see in my attributes, your best moments. I do play as a spy a lot. So, yeah. Yeah, just let it load so I can show you guys. Yeah, this game is actually about 13 gigs in size, so yeah, it takes a lot of loading. I'm just showing you an offline practice so it loads a little quicker because sometimes it can take a like, couple of minutes just to load one game. Red team, spy. Follow me, Doctor! This way, Doctor! Yeah! Yeah. So, I can use my controller to play. So, yeah. Guys, this is 3-3 three, three guy. Showing you how to use your controller to play PC games. So, yeah. See ya.